Hey guys, Joy Danielle here, just making an update video to the last one I did from when I was taking DEM as a supplement in order to clear up my hormonal acne. If you haven't checked it out, um, check out the down bar below and I'll leave a link to that video so you can check it out. So I just wanted to make this really quickly just to give you guys an update. One, I am no longer taking the DIM supplement, and here's why, uh, for a few reasons. Number one, I found out from a subscriber of mine who actually commented on that video that she did some research and she found that it actually causes thinning of your hair. Y'all, when she said that at the time, ironically, I was losing my hair as well. So actually right here, I started getting bald spots um, as you can see like my hair is fairly thick so when she told me that I put two and two together and at the time I kind of stopped taking it anyway because I didn't order anymore um, so when she told me that and I realized I stopped taking the dim my hair did grow back um, it got thick again and of course subsequently my face started erupting again womp 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 so, you know, after that time went on, we ended up doing a fast at my church where we ended up eating um, fruits and vegetables only for a whole entire month. Did that, guys. My skin was glowing. I mean, I drank nothing but water. It was, I mean, it was looking great. And then once the fast was over, I was back to eating nonsense <laughs> And of course, you know, even though I didn't eat it a lot, I, like I said, I generally eat pretty healthy, but at the time I just was, you know, I just gotten off the fast and I kind of let myself go a little bit. So face started erupting again, not knowing that the biggest culprit ladies to my acne was actually dairy. Um, I'm already lactose intolerant anyway. What really made me give up the dairy, guys, it was like I had no choice. I love smart food popcorn, okay? So I had a bag of smart food popcorn, the white cheddar kind. Y'all, I ate like half of that bag one day. I don't know. I just, I, I was going overboard. I don't think I had eaten all day and I was on the road for work and... I ate half of that and I thought I was gonna die like literally my stomach couldn't take it like I was like balled up in a corner somewhere so chalking that up to coincidence I ate some nacho cheese Doritos because like I said I've been I've been lactose intolerant my whole life but never to the point where I can't even eat white cheddar popcorn Y'all, I ate the Doritos. I had the nacho cheese Doritos with guacamole. It's so good. It sounds so weird, but it is, it's good. It's kind of my way of avoiding cheese. Y'all, I had that. Stomach did not like the Doritos either. So, you know, I get a little upset and I notice that as I'm eating these products and even having a little bit of cheese here and there, like on a slice of pizza or whatever, my face just started erupting um, as well. I kind of put the correlation together. So once I, then, I'll, then before I go into that, then I noticed that on my, um, on my face, I, you know, I always, I said before that I struggle with hair on my face sometimes. And it's more so concentrated in here, but I would get it here and there. Y'all, I made the mistake of shaving my face. That was the worst thing I could have done because I had acne and dark marks and just, it was, that was not smart of me at all. So my face was really jacked up and at that point I finally made the decision like I had to give up dairy like anything with a milk byproduct or a product of milk I could not eat it so my I, I just couldn't afford to be sick anymore at work. Y'all I gave it up look at my skin like no acne now this is an old dark mark I'm gonna wipe my face so you can see but I don't have any active breakouts y'all and I'm on my cycle none I usually have um, a, a cyst here and there let me show you kind of the aftermath I'm gonna kind of wipe like trying to hold this at the same time try to wipe some of this makeup off anyway because I'm not in church anymore 
and that's like the best feeling when you come home and like wash your face okay so you can see that I still have some scarring kind of left over but nothing compared to what I had before like yeah look at that it, it totally clear I naturally have freckles too so that's what that is. This, up over here that's what this is like on my nose and stuff freckles but this is acne scars so y'all yeah it was dairy <laughs> um, dairy was just like the death of me in a few ways so what I would suggest to anyone who's watching this video um, try cutting out dairy from your diet the only supplements I take at this point are the B complex vitamins and I do take fish oil twice a day but I've basically completely eliminated dairy and sugar also leave a comment if you'd like to see a video on how I clean uh, cleared up um, yeast rashes so that was something else that I struggled with for years um, I'm a larger <laughs> sorry I didn't mean to like you know show all my goods but I'm a larger breasted woman and I've always struggled with I've always struggled with like having a rash like in between my breasts that I always attributed to sweating in the summertime um, however what I didn't know was that it was a direct correlation with what I was eating as well which sugar actually triggered that so if you want to see a video on that how I cleared it up give me a thumbs up or leave a comment and I just want to let you all know that what I said in the first video is pretty much true. You literally are what you eat. Um, pay attention to your body. Don't go running to get medicine the first time you have an ache or an itch. You know, really take the time to try to look at your diet first. Try to look to see what you can do holistically first. Guys, I've still been medicine free. Um, the only thing I've taken is like an ibuprofen literally um, twice in the last year. And I try my best to stay away from pharmaceutical drugs and I've lost weight um, I'm gonna also I'm gonna start I think I'm gonna keep on with this YouTube thing because I, guys I, I mean I went from a size 18 to I'm a size 8 now and I really would like to share my journey with you all um, I had people ask me so many questions about hair care and how I lost weight and my skin and of course I give glory to God in every video that I do however there are steps that you have to take we can pray all day long about something we can study we can research but you have to take action and you have to start somewhere so that's what I did um, if I can provide motivation I used to watch videos like this and watch other women and it really motivated me to make a change as well so I'm gonna try to keep up with these more often I'm gonna try to find somewhere else to film other than my car. It's just that in my home is kind of a little chaotic. So this is where I can get peace and quiet and you know really record. And I'm gonna try to make this more like a vlog style channel. So leave a comment. Um, I'm gonna talk about some recipes, um, things that I make at home. And uh, yeah, just try to give you guys everything that's been working for me. I am not a doctor, just FYI. Um, so make sure you do your research before you do uh, take any of the tips that I'm giving as well too. I'm just giving what works for me and hopefully it works for you. So until the next video, I will see you guys later and thanks for tuning in.